is so advanced. <laughs> I, I had no idea that this thing existed. I was just going through. I saw it as a premium and the, it had rockets at such a low BR, 150 millimeter rockets. Um, not as as explosive as the KV-2. And going under the protection analysis, I actually thought this thing was gonna absolutely suck. It doesn't look like you can penetrate anything with it. But, and maybe it's because the protection analysis doesn't show maybe how overpressure and things work, but when actually playing this thing, this thing is a beast. And you don't even see too many of them on the battlefield. This thing was actually a lot of fun to play. You've got this whole set of what kind of looks like torpedoes strapped to the back of your truck. <laughs> it's like these on land like torpedoes and when you fire them they go through the air and you have to aim quite a bit high to get it to be able to hit your target so it does make it a little challenging but I don't and the other thing is I don't know how that guy in the back could see very well. I'm hoping somebody crosses through here Hard thing is, is trying to get moving targets with this is very Our difficult. I'm hoping that if somebody just stops right here to take a shot at one of my teammates, I may be able to get a shot at him. Having no luck there. Let's try to back up here. Is there anyone on that ridge? We have a little bit more exposure to that opening, but I'm just not seeing anyone. So we're going to go ahead and move on up. But this thing is like so much fun to play. I went in, played some rounds with it. It took me a long time to get the hang of the aiming system because you actually have to aim really high compared to tanks when you're firing with their cannons because you're compensating for that that rocket drop or so when it launches out I guess and then uh, just ignites and goes right after the enemy. It's really cool and it's got a huge explosion. This gunner in the back sits really low, and you can shoot out through the front. You lose, I think, a little bit of gun depression, but with that rocket drop, you almost don't even need it a whole lot. Now, let's see. I'm kind of hearing something over to my right. They talk about Germany being like the scientists. You always see like these old movies with the mad scientists and them creating all this crazy stuff like the Wolfenstein game and all these different technologies that they uh, supposedly had. This completely proves it. I mean, what a Frankenstein of a vehicle. I mean, rockets with this half track. I bet anyone that would have seen this thing in combat, and I would be curious to know if this thing actually did see action. The enemies must have been like, what the heck are those things? A bunch of toilet paper rolls attached to the top of a truck. What is that going to do? They must have thought maybe it was like for spotlighting or something. Little did they know, it, each one of these holes has a big surprise. Like, oh. <laughs> Like our little friend found out there. These are not big uh, headlights. And at first you're thinking like, oh, this little machine gun. But man, these things are just crazy. Okay, I'm hearing something off to my left. Roger that. What is it? I think that kind of loops back around. So I may be safe here. Huh. Now it could be coming from this road right here. Okay, I am hearing some gunfire, so there must be somebody right there. All right, could get hit off to the right, but I don't care. Oh, there he is. Okay, now, all right, I do need to at least get the rocket down so I can, okay, come on. Oh, wow, I'm getting really close here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, run! Holy cow. Okay, I may be dead here. That was a, probably a super stupid move. Oh, shoot. And I'm trying to off-road. Okay, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, and holy cow, I made it. Dude, that was crazy. I did not think I was gonna survive that. I thought hands down I was done for. Definitely just 
using and abusing this thing like crazy. Okay, he looks like he may be aimed up. Let's see, can we get him through these rocks? Just maybe a little bit further back. Oh, right, and just barely making it through those rocks. Okay, I'm hearing something. Oh, yep, right up on that road again. We've got two rockets. Let's see if we can knock this guy out. Oh, a little too high. Excellent. Holy cow. You do have a little bit of a long reload, but one thing I really love about this thing is you can just tap and pull the trigger so fast. You don't have to, there's no waiting to reload per shot. You can just tap this thing like crazy, but the problem is you only have two sets of rockets with five each, and if you have to reload, it sucks. It takes a long time to get rockets back in. Now, let's see. I thought there was maybe an exclamation point or something marked over here. We may turn around, go back up and around, and see if we can maybe come up on the side of A. Now, it's pretty open behind me. Ooh, was that a shot? It's pretty open behind me, so I may want to be pretty careful here. Let's keep those rockets pointed backwards. Man, the truck of trucks. What is it? Like, I would think you would see these more often. It's like the most derpiest low BR. It's like for a truck. Now, I have learned you do have to be particular. There are some very heavily armored vehicles that this thing really struggles with. Like, sometimes the front of Sherman's, there's a tiny little Russian tank that I can't seem to blow up from the front, and that SU-122. Oh, that is kind of a narrow shot. I need him to be a little bit more exposed before I pull the trigger. Now, is that someone? Oh, let's see, let's try there. Over there. All right. Okay, second shots. We've got a lot of rockets left. All right, we're doing pretty good. All right, now I want to come up through here. And let's see if we can cross over and sneak up on the side of some enemies. Okay, I'm hearing something off to my left. My teammate looks like he is aware of what's going. No, yep, okay. Right, he sh oh no, oh shoot, that is exactly what I did not want to see. Uh oh, and I need gun depression. Uh oh, run! <laughs> Make it back to A, please. Okay, hurry, come on, come on, come on. Uh, can we get around him before he fires? That I uh oh, holy cow! How did I survive that? Oh, drop, 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 drop. Pedal to the metal. We need to get out of here. Oh. Yeah, I'm spotted. Okay, let's go back to C. Hopefully get some ammo. Hey, and he may be up there just getting hit by my arty. Okay, so too bad we weren't quite able to knock him out. And I just about used all my rockets on that thing. That was a definitely a move of stupidity, just shooting all my rockets. All right, let's go back here, get some more, get some more rounds. Hopefully, another set of rockets. All right. Oh my gosh. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. That is a long reload. Well. I guess we might as well uh, bring on another crew member. I don't know if that makes it any faster with trying to get more ammo on board. Yeah, and it sucks because this machine gun, I feel like, is also kind of stiff too. You can't really quite get it up and high as you want it to. And we are basically a 
dead sitting target here, hoping nobody comes around the corner out along those fields. Okay, and we're hearing someone above us. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I, I might as well have just gotten taken out right there. That, I, that, uh, yeah, that's such a long reload. Having to sit there, you're just, you're a sitting duck for just way too long. It'd have been one thing. Now, that'd have been sad if it was, that was how long it took to load one rocket, but I'm pretty sure that was to load a whole set of rockets of 10. All right. We'll go into another one here and see if we can survive. While being crazy, right? Yeah, I'm going to have to look this thing up. It's such a funky looking truck, too. See, as I was saying earlier, that guy in the turret, he kind of sits in the back. There's only three guys in this truck. There's really not many. You can very, very easily get taken out. This thing has absolutely no armor. So when you're facing enemies from the side, and they, I have gotten shot multiple times, and their rounds will go right through not even doing anything. I think it probably has about at the most about eight, maybe sometimes four millimeters of armor. Which, yeah, that's not going to really do anything to you in uh, War Thunder. Machine gun will even go right through you, I'm pretty sure. Dude, these just rockets in the, the back just look so bad. That is in, like, really cool. This is another one of these vehicles that kind of has almost like a 70s-ish weird look to it. How there's no wheel well kind of that goes up and around the wheel. It goes, like, flat out. And some of the flat areas but that are a little bit curvature. Germany is just kind of advanced for their time. Okay, please don't get shot up through here. See if we can find anyone just coming out trying to get C. If we can surprise them out through the side of these buildings. Yeah, unfortunately you can't easily pen everything. I do struggle sometimes to take some enemies out. You'd think 20 rounds would be plenty. As you can tell from my my uh, round from earlier, that was definitely not the case. Okay, I'm hearing somebody out through here. Okay, I gotta aim kind of high. Alright, excellent. Those are the kind of shots we want. If we can keep coming up along the sides of enemies, and then getting those shots off, we can actually do really good. And you are that classic truck, so getting through fences and brick walls are very difficult. Alright, not seeing anyone over to my right. The toilet paper roll of doom. It's the only thing I can think of when I see like a bunch of these all together. I could just, my son will end up taping them together when we end up having toilet paper run out and he'll use them as binoculars. This is like binocular extreme. All right, I think I'm hearing something over behind here, over to my right. Is he coming out this way? Sounds like he's moving. He's getting closer. I'm not seeing anything though. Maybe we just pop out from a uh, back behind here and surprise him. It is one nice thing about having these rear-mounted weapons, is you can do stuff like that. Where'd he go? I don't even see him anymore. That's weird. 
I swear he was like, it sounded like he was right around here somewhere. Uh, okay. If I move up forward, I'm gonna get spotted on the map. I'm, what is that noise? Oh! <laughs> oh, I must have barely missed him. Okay, come here. Oh no, and now he knows exactly where I am. I'm at a big disadvantage here. I'm gonna need to get that shot off. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, nice. Yeah, I always got to be particular with those shots. I mean, I can go ham and just push the trigger like crazy, but I'm trying to trying to um, spare my ammo as much as I can. The nice thing is being this is, even though it's a truck, okay, it looks like there may be somebody right down here. My friends are all kind of surrounding him. What is that? You guys need help? Oh, yeah, I don't want to, that is like the bane of this thing. I'm not going to be able to do anything to that guy. Oh, I can do something to you, I think. Oh. <laughs> oh, darn, I thought that turret hit would have totally taken him out. Now we got a guy up on that ledge who knows where I am, and uh, did you guys take him out? Oh no. Okay, let's just see, can we do anything to him? Oh no. Yep, that's not gonna work. Oh, please don't shoot me. Is your cannon out? Oh. Let's take out the other track. Oops. No! I just wasted a shell. Now I know that guy is up behind that ridge there. Pro oh! Oh! Where did his shot even go? <laughs> I can only just picture the look on that guy's face. I didn't even hear it go through me or anything. It must have went right between the opening between my uh, weapon and the cabin or something like that. Holy cow. I got super lucky right there. Okay, so we still, we're doing pretty good conserving our ammo compared to previous rounds. Okay, let's see if we can sneak back up around that one Stuart. See him? I'm hearing something right over this hill. Where? Oh, uh, no! <laughs> My truck can't make it. Oh, that's painful. This thing like doesn't have the horsepower or something. I wonder with having less ammo, I know having less ammo helps reduce your chance of getting ammo racked, but I'm also wondering if that helps reduce the amount of weight your vehicle has, and if that helps you get up other areas faster or better. Okay, come on, I'm hearing a guy right up over this hill. German tech, don't let me down. Oh, yes. I have saved a rocket for you. Oh, this is perfect. And we aim up. Oh, right. <laughs> and we move on to the next set. A little more effort and victory will be yours. Land torps. Dude, and it just sounds so cool too. I can just imagine when the enemy hears these sounds, when this thing fires, they're like, what the heck was that? Especially at this low VR. I mean, it almost sounds like something you would hear. 
thought I saw someone. It almost sounds like something you would hear at like the higher BR or more modern stuff. Okay, we may actually survive this, but I'm seeing some targets marked on the map. One exclamation point behind me. Can we get one more kill? Come on, one more kill. I've got a full clip, or whatever you call this, of rockets. Maybe we can just like completely ammo dump them all at once. I'd be curious if anyone has actually shot down a plane with this thing before. Not using the machine gun, just using the rockets. Oh no. And unfortunately it doesn't look, oh darn. Well, we weren't able to take out another one. But wow, that this is a pretty fun vehicle. One I'll probably, I'll definitely play again sometime. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this vid. This is the Muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.